So, uh, bonsoir et bienvenue. Good evening to all of you. It's a pleasure to welcome you tonight for the session on African Studies at the University of Beirut. My name is Bernice Camp. I'm in charge of this uh, liaison office from the University of Beirut here in France in Bordeaux. So basically my job consists in fostering collaborative projects uh, between Beirut and its partners in the fields of education and research. Partners will be, uh, of course, Bordeaux, the University of Bordeaux and all uh, universities on site of Bordeaux, but also partners in South Europe and North Africa. And to do so, we need our future partners maybe to better understand and better know what we do at the University of Beirut. That's why we organize this session online uh, to help you identify maybe a common ground for future projects and also to give you the opportunity to have first an overview of all the fields we, at least uh, some of the core activities we have in the field of research and education, of course, and um, to also give this opportunity to meet and discuss directly with our scientific coordinator. So that's why I have the pleasure tonight to welcome on board Professor Samimi, who is going to talk about the African studies and to present all it entails in terms of activities, because what we understand by African studies at the University of Beirut is quite large, you will see it. So it's a pleasure to welcome once again Professor Samimi. Thank you very much for your participation. And now I'm letting him present himself and start his presentation. So the floor is yours now. Okay, good evening, bonsoir. So my French is very basic. I understand a lot, but it's in English anyway. Uh, I, I don't know where, the, where most people are coming from. Um, so let me briefly under, uh, introduce myself. I'm, I'm actually a physical geographer uh, specialized in, in, in climatology. So I have a professorship of climatology here at the University of Bayreuth. Um, and I'm since um, yeah, a bit over one year, the elected uh, director of the Institute of African Studies. Um, um, well, so it's, it's elected by the, by the steering committee. And I'm the vice dean of digital solutions in the African cluster, in the uh, cluster of excellence, Africa multiple. Um, so what you see here on the first slide, the cover slide, is um, <clears throat> the, um, um, well different parts uh, of, of the Institute of African Studies. And I will give you a brief overview uh, of the history as well. So in the center uh, on top is the uh, cluster of excellence Africa multiple, um, which we got uh, two years ago. So since 2019, we have um, the cluster of excellence, which is funded now for seven years in the beginning. And it is uh, now the main research, uh, well, institution of the Institute of African Studies. So Institute of African Studies is the umbrella of the activities, but the the research and the initiatives are then under uh, the Institute of African Studies. Then we have um, uh, the Ivaliva House, uh, which is a, our museum of contemporary African arts, uh, but it also it is also a research in entity in the in the uh, Institute of African Studies and also part uh, of the research activities in the Cluster of Excellence. So there it, it is. Um, art, but also research on art. And maybe maybe you heard of BIGSAS already, um, which I separately uh, mention here, because BIGSAS is now part of the African cluster of this, uh, of this uh, cluster of excellence, but it is also the Graduate School of African Studies. So, so you don't have to be a member of the cluster to become a PhD student in BIGSAS. So this is partly integrated because it's financed now through the, through the cluster, but it is the graduate school. And then we have the Tanzanian German Center of Legal uh, Studies, which is based in Dar es Salaam. And it's a, it's a joint research center uh, on legal studies uh, based in Dar es Salaam, mainly uh, for the East African region, the integration, uh, the political and, and, and economic integration of, of um, uh, in Eastern Africa. So it's a PhD program and also a master program. And then we have BRIAS, um, which is the Bavarian Research Institute of African Studies, 
which was founded by, by the Institute of African Studies in Bayreuth, but it is a consortium of four uh, universities in Bayreuth, uh, in Bavaria, sorry. So it's a university of Bayreuth, it's the Technical University of Ingolstadt, it's the uh, University of Applied, of, of Applied Studies in um, Neu-Ulm, and it's the University of Würzburg. Um, and this is more an, um, well, a, a institutional setup where we want to have a, a joint, um, well, expertise, uh, also engineering. Um, and, and we have now two projects under Brias um, <clears throat> in Bayreuth. So there are a few more on renewable energy. So you see that it, it's combining now um, economical parts, uh, economic parts, uh, engineering parts uh, covered by the uh, Technical University and social aspects of renewable energies uh, in, in Namibia and now expanding to, to other parts of Africa. And then uh, in the University of Bordeaux Montagne is, uh, is a part of, of this very new uh, IMAS. It's a European funded, EU funded, a European interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary master on African studies. So it's Bayreuth. Uh, Bordeaux, Montaigne, and um, University of Porto in, Lis uh, in, in Portugal. Um, in Lis uh, Por yeah, Porto in Lisbon. Uh, in Lisbon, in Portugal. Porto, University of Porto in Portugal. So this is also pre pretty new. So this is, this is the institutional setup and it's, it's integrating many, many different aspects. And it was also already mentioned in the introduction that the Institute of African Studies in in Bayreuth is huge. So it's, it's one of the largest institutes of African studies worldwide, definitely in Europe, uh, together with Leiden, for example, which is it's comparatively, comparatively big. And you see that we have um, many different disciplines uh, under the umbrella of the Institute of African Studies. So we are all in our faculties and do research beside African studies as well. So for example, myself, I'm, I'm, I'm doing research in Central Asia. Um, but it is uh, a, huge, a huge combination of, of disciplines, history, Islamic studies, political science, geography, but both physical and, and human geography, ecology, law, and so on and so on, anthropology. So you see it, it's, it's more or less that the, 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 all faculties more or less are covered. Um, and there are also colleagues in engineering sciences, which are not members of the Institute of African Studies, but who do research in the cluster of excellence. So this is also a strange setup. Um, the only faculty which is not really doing research um, is mathematics, physics, um, and, and uh, 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 well, uh, informatics. So math mathematics, uh, physics, and informatics. So this is the only faculty which is not. And the new faculty, which is on life science and, and, and um, is, is also, um, already interested in, which is was established just, just recently to join. So it's, it's really huge, a lot of professors, a lot of members, uh, postdocs and so on, and PhD doctoral students uh, under PIXAS, which are part in, the, in this Institute of African Studies. And it developed uh, from a, a collaborative research center um, which was uh, right after the beginning of the university. So our university is pretty young. So we celebrated the 40th anniversary just four years ago. So we are turning 45 this year. So we are a pretty young university. And right in the beginning, African studies was one of the main uh, initiatives and activities at Bayreuth. And you see that, that it was a big DFG funded research project. Um, and then in the... Uh, uh, 1990. So we celebrated the 30 years last year, which was not a celebration because of COVID, uh, of, of the Institute of African Studies. Um, then uh, we had another SFP <clears throat> um, now coming from the Institute of African Studies. Then we had PIXAS uh, since 2007, uh, which was funded through the, the, the uh, Excellence Initiative. Um, and then uh, also the Tanzanian uh, German Center of, of, of uh, Legal Studies or Studies in Law uh, is celebrated the 10th uh, anniversary just recently. Um, then we had the Bayreuth Academy of 
advanced African studies, which is also now integrated in the cluster as well. Then we have Brias also now uh, almost seven years. Um, and then since two years now in the third year, the cluster of excellence Africa multiple. And in 2020, our youngest project or youngest uh, achievement is the is IMAS, uh, so the interdisciplinary master uh, together with Bordeaux and Porto. Uh, so what can you do study-wise? Uh, so so we have we offer a few bachelor study programs. Um, most of them, or all of them, are in German. This is a, a, a shortcoming. Uh, by, uh, Bavarian uh, bachelor study programs are in, in, in German. But then we have uh, English master programs. Um, and so there are quite a few. I hope they are, the, this is the complete list. So that is changing and we are now in the process also of, of uh, updating and integrating uh, and, and, and establishing new uh, programs. Um, so the last one is Development Studies Master. It's also Bordeaux is uh, involved. So it's also international collaboration already with Bordeaux, uh, Development Studies uh, Master, um, and then uh, Big SAS. And, what, uh, and, and this is now a, 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 the last slide. And it's coming from, from my portfolio in the cluster, because we are always working together with uh, African universities. So beside beside uh, uh, the, the four main partners now, which were uh, are now a, a constitutional part of the cluster. Uh, it's the uni Mo University of Mo uh, in, in uh, Moi uh, in Eldoret, it's Lagos University, it's Rhodes University uh, in Makandra, which was previously um, Grahamstown, it's a university uh, in, in Ouagadougou and uh, a partner university in Brazil. Um, and what is shown here is that we are now uh, on the way to uh, combine uh, them uh, digitally. So we are building uh, a digital research infrastructure um, with um, all universities. So, so Bayreuth, Eldoret, Lagos, Grahamstown, Ouagadougou, and Salvatore de Bahia. And we have many more partner universities in Africa, so Pixas partner universities. Um, and, and also partner universities uh, like Indiana uh, uh, or Leiden. So it's an it's a internationally oriented uh, networking uh, capacity we have in Bayreuth as well. Um, and this is, uh, should be strengthened uh, in, in joint activities, um, hopefully continuously in the, in the future. So this was in a, in a very short nutshell um, what the Institute of African Studies in, in Bayreuth is and how it developed. And now I'm ready to answer as many questions as you like. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Samimi. So I would like now to give the floor to our participants by letting you ask in your question. Everything you need to know, want to know, please ask Professor Samimi. To do so, I would like you to write your name in the Q&A box so I can open the mic for you and you ask directly the question to Professor Samim. So go ahead, do not, don't be shy. Professor Mimi is here to answer your questions. If you want more specific questions to programs or how you can work together. I know the first question is always <laughs> the most difficult one. So I'm giving the floor to Eric Rougier. So the open, the mic is now open. You can ask your question if you unmute yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Um, <clears throat> so I, 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 I could see that there, there is not much economics in, in your, uh, in your uh, program on development on, on uh, African studies. So I'm uh, personally involved into a, uh, a training a program in, in Bordeaux on, uh, on development and project in developing countries and uh, also on another program uh, training uh, statisticians and economists uh, for developing countries. And uh, we are collaborating with, uh, with LAM, uh, with Dominique Darbon that you may know. Uh, so uh, 
at, at mm -hmm. that time, we are, we are thinking about the, uh, the, the reshaping of, 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 of our training programs in Bordeaux. And so uh, we are uh, incentivized to, uh, to find uh, uh, international collaboration. So I'm, I'm interested by your uh, program, master program in development studies. Maybe uh, you, you uh, I don't know if I, if I uh, understood correctly what you said, but uh, you, you seem to have a Bordeaux partner. Is it LAM uh, on, on this program, Development Studies, or uh, maybe yeah. I missed it? Yeah, it is. And, um, and so my question is, uh, would you be interested in, in, uh, in to a collaboration with uh, development economists and uh, with uh, training programs in development uh, that exist in Bordeaux at Bordeaux University? And, uh, uh, okay. Um, that this is this is now again a, a interesting setup of the Institute of African Studies because we have a colleague here. Uh, he's a development economist. Mm -hmm. um, he is, <laughs> and I, I I want to convince him since since I'm this, the, the director of the Institute of African Studies that he should that that he should become a member of the Institute of African Studies. This colleague is already a member in the cluster and he's doing research on development economics in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, so, so his name is David Stadelmann. Mm -hmm. um, so if, you, if you're interested in, co in co working together with him, and there is another colleague in, uh, in, uh, in the Department of Economy who is also working, uh, doing a, a few research uh, projects uh, together with David Stadelmann in Africa. Um, so if you go to the, I will, I will post you the, the the website of the um, of the cluster of, because I have the website of the of the um, of the Institute of African Studies, and it, as he is not a member, uh, you won't find him here, but you will find him here on this website. And his name is David Stadelmann. Uh, so you find him, and you find it, his contact details. And I'm I'm sure he will be interested in 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 in, uh, in discussing a, co a collaboration. Okay. So there is economic as well. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Eric, for your question. Just um, for you to know. Uh, I said I'm in charge of this uh, liaison office uh, here in Bordeaux, so do not hesitate mm -hmm. to contact me if you want to be connected with researchers um, at the University of Beirut, because that's my job. So do not hesitate. If you want me uh, to connect you with researchers or professors mm -hmm. at Beirut, please let me know. I will be happy to, to help you. Another question, maybe, from our audience. Gayo Diallo, the mic is now open. You can ask your question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for your presentation. Well, actually, I would like just to check whether, uh, for instance, the last project that you mentioned regarding this international collaboration you have with Ouagadougou, um, East Africa, South Africa, etc. Mm -hmm. So are you interested in working um, on topics like uh, digital health or uh, let's say, um, well, digitalization with uh, um, low literate people or those kind of things? Um, I mean, or at least vulnerable people and digitalization. Well, this kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, there is that we i mean this is this is a, a, a thing which could develop uh, so what is what is what is constantly or it, what is increasing so in this this is this slide uh, i mean I, I will share it again um because it, it it nicely shows um again what we are doing so at at lagos for example there is um so these are partner universities in the cluster of excellence um and, and there is, uh, at Lagos, for example, there are people working on digital issues. Mm -hmm. And the same in Eldoret, uh, the same in Grahamstown, and the same in Wagadugu. Um, we don't have a medicine. So we don't have a faculty of medicine in Bayreuth. Uh, 
Um, we have one colleague who is, he's a member in the Institute of African Studies who is working on, um, well, uh, yeah, medical issues. So he's, a, 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 what is exactly his, his, his nomination, the nomination of the professorship? Um, so he's on, on working on on uh, economic aspects of, of 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 medicine. So he's in briefly describing his his idea. And what is happening is that now um, we are looking for initiatives on digital research as well. So it's not only a a technical link of uh, these research uh, archives, digital archives research data management. It's also, um, we are also looking for initiatives of, for projects. So, so there is a call now for projects which closes on the 15th of February within the cluster. I, I have no idea who will apply. Eligible are all partners uh, mentioned here uh, and partner institutions. And uh, Probably there are projects coming, especially I know for, of one who is dealing with the COVID crisis uh, and, and, and coping strategies and impact of uh, mobile um, people in Africa. Mm -hmm. It is also running, it's already running for about 10 months. So diaries and, and, and they write, uh, well, diaries on, on, on impact of COVID uh, on their livelihood uh, systems. So that's a part, it's part digitally. So we want to go into social media research as well, in the, or the project wants to go into the digital media research, social media research as well. So there are initiatives going in this direction, definitely. Okay. And it's, it's coming also from the African partner universities, ideas especially on these, these issues of digitalization. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna see, thank you. And maybe maybe a, a last comment. Um, so there is also a, a, a data curator uh, in the cluster. Um, so we have four data curators and one data curator is responsible for uh, collaboration um, with African partner universities. Or not only African, so partner universities, universities of the Institute of Africa in the context of digitalization. So there's one person specific, specifically allocated to this task. Merci. Next question, maybe. Elisabeth Hoffman, the mic is open. Thank you very much. Um, my question concerns gender. Uh, is this uh, an important issue in uh, Bayreuth studies? Uh, do you have sort of a transversal gender approach or colleagues who work specifically on gender and development in African settings? Yeah, definitely. And this is a major part in the cluster of excellence. So we have a colleague, uh, we have a, a gender and diversity officer, but it's a scientific uh, position as well. So, so she's working, she's working on uh, not only on gender, but also on diversity issues. So, so she has a, a very strong intersectional, uh, intersectional approach in, in uh, research and also in, in politics, so politics of research. Um, and, and there are projects uh, running, projects, there are, uh, a, is, there is a lecture series, for example, or, uh, which is continuously uh, on Friday evening, oh, on Thursday evenings. So this is a very, very strong part of our activities in the Cluster of Excellence, definitely. Um, and also in research projects uh, itself, so it's not only a political uh, agenda of the Cluster of Excellence, uh, but also there are many research projects working on, on, or at least they have, most of them have, have kind of a, a part uh, of intersectionality approaches, uh, but they are pure projects with an, an, an definite intersectional uh, approach as well. So this is a very strong agenda in the cluster of excellence, definitely. Thank you. 
And if you if you see that gender balance in in in, in the Institute of African Studies. Uh, so I'm now again these old white men sitting here, but but the gender balance is is quite diverse. So I would say we have 50% more or less uh, male female. So that we have quite good gender balance. We have now also African professors. So this is pre uh, pretty new. Uh, up to now we didn't have any any uh, permanent uh, professors from Africa from the African continent. Now we have two. Uh, so this is also a new development, and there are junior research group leaders from Africa as well um, now in the cluster of excellence. So we are getting more diverse in Bayreuth as well. Is there another question? Can you tell me? Um, hello, um, I thank you a lot. I'm, um, I'm a PhD student uh, at uh, LAM in political science. And I was wondering if uh, there are any groupments of uh, doctoral students uh, within like transdisciplinary kind of uh, associations or is it also uh, by disciplines? Well, I was, I, I'm asking that to, to know if there could be like some sort of exchange between mm -hmm. students and the university. So. Um, in BIGSAS, there used to be um, topical, a, a, a group, uh, we had uh, research fields and, and the PhD uh, candidates were allocated to these research fields. Now it's open. So it's very, I would not transdisciplinary. So we have a different uh, agenda of transdisciplinarity in our, in our institute. Um, I would say it's interdisciplinary setup. Um, and our transdisciplinary, because I see it in the chat, is to uh, include in our research activities. This is not in PIXAS. Uh, because you have to have an academic background to become a, a PhD candidate. But in the research projects, we have a, a, an approach, in, not in all, that, that is not feasible, but in many of a real transdisciplinary, transdisciplinary approach, which means including um, non-academic researchers. So they are not research assistants. They are not, not uh, uh, just contributing, but they are co-researchers in, in, in in some of the projects. Uh, so it's an interdisciplinary, is an interdisciplinary setup. We have some more graduate programs uh, where, and this is also interesting. Um, so we have, and this is a part of the, 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 the picture Bayreuth gives to the outside world. So we have, for example, a, um, a master programs, which I didn't mention here, because they are not part of the Institute of African Studies, but we have a huge portion, portion of, of African scholars in PA, in master programs, but also then continuing with PhDs, uh, which are not part of the Institute of African Studies. For example, I have a, a, a PhD candidate from, from Nigeria who is funded, funded through the AAD. Um, and he's not in Big South, he's in a different graduate school, but working on an African uh, topic. So this is, this is a, a very diverse setup um, and the graduate schools are working partly together. So they have joint courses, for example. So they're interdisciplinary then uh, oriented, the joint courses they have to do in different graduate schools. Okay, thank you. And this is maybe also a part of Bayreuth and the, in the genes of Bayreuth. That, uh, that, that, that we have a strong interdisciplinary approach. So, so many, many programs which are not uh, subject topic oriented um, and it's not geography or biology or engineering. So it's combined. It's always a combination of disciplines, very interdisciplinary setup. 
that uh, if I may add something on that, it's very specific to the University of Beirut for people who know uh, already the German landscape of research and universities, it's quite unique. Uh, to have such interdisciplinary in the way uh, research projects are presented. So please have a look at the um, presentation of the different research core areas. It's quite interesting to see how it is presented and you will see it's not spe uh, field specific, but really interdisciplinary presented. Also in master students, also in German master programs, in English master programs. So it's, it's really unique. Next question, maybe, if there is one. No, no other question. So in this case, uh, we are going to, to close the session. So uh, maybe um, a last word from you, Professor Samini, if you want to add something. Well, I mean, if, you, if you're if you interested um, in, in any in further information, just contact us. So you find, um, I, I, you, you have, it's recorded. Uh, I can also, uh, send the, the, the uh, PDF of the presentation as well. Um, but you find that us easily. So Institute of African Studies, we have an academic coordinator uh, and he's happy to, to answer your questions and he is happy to guide you to the right person. So it's not only the gateway offices who, who could do this, but if you're interested, if you're looking for a cooperation partner, uh, just contact the academic coordinator of the Institute of African Studies um, and he will he will guide you as well uh, to the right person uh, for questions, uh, contacts, and so on and so on. So feel feel free to contact us for any any questions, please. Merci, Professor Samini. So we are going now to close the session. Thank you very much for your participation. We hope it was uh, interesting and you enjoyed the session. So do not hesitate to contact us. And as I said, I'm located here in Bordeaux, so do not hesitate to, I would say, come and see me once we are out of home office. Uh, but basically, do not hesitate. I will be happy to welcome you uh, in my office, or I will come to your office to meet and discuss um, collaboration opportunities. The session um, is recorded, so basically, you will get the content afterwards um, on YouTube. So do not hesitate once again to forward the information to your colleagues uh, if they uh, couldn't attend the session. And I put in the chat box my email address um, to contact me uh, whenever question you have. And if you are master students or PhD candidates or postdoc researchers, I, mean, I can also help you identify some mobility funding scheme to help you move uh, to Bayreuth because as we all uh, know, money is quite key in mobility of research. So do not hesitate, I would be happy to help. And um, I wish you and we wish you actually a very nice evening and let's keep in touch for further collaboration. Thank you very much and let's keep in touch. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Au revoir. Au revoir.